Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to talk about Kanto. We'll go through a review, I'll tell you more about this uh, beautiful, beautiful program. We'll go through pros and cons, pricing plans and we'll uh, show you how to work in, in Kanto because it's really, really nice. So Kanto provides marketing teams with the simplest yet most powerful DAM uh, system on the market. Brands across all industries trust Kanto to organize, secure, and share visual brand assets with uh, ease. It gives your team the power to easily tag, collaborate, and report on company-wide company uh, digital assets in a visual environment. Kanto has over 25 years of experience in digital asset management industry, and thousands of brands uh, around the world rely on uh, Kanto to centralize their rich media libraries. It's uh, suitable for smaller businesses, but also large enterprises. You can install it on Windows and Mac and run it on your mobile as well. At the moment, we are not uh, installing it. We are going to use it uh, on in Microsoft, Microsoft Chrome. And uh, when we check the pricings, you have to give them your personal information and uh, then they will tailor you the option uh, for you. For example, for uh, how many gigs of, uh, it's, I believe for free, it's like 100 gigs of uh, memory uh, they'll provide to you and a couple, uh, couple of other things that we can check. One moment, I think I have it in my, in my email. So they are basically providing you with 10 gigs of uh, hot storage, uh, 10 power user seats, 5 consumer seats, 1 adapt connector seats, 5 portals, 5 workspaces, 1 style guides, 500 upload links, custom roles, workflow, metadata, uh, asset request, smart text for images and hex color recognition for images. So once you fill this in and you will wait for like one hour, not one to three minutes, but I get it, they are great and they are busy. Then you can uh, uh, click on the link they sent you, you verify your account and we are here, it Kanto. Straight away on the left side of our Kanto workspace, we have library, unassigned work, my selections, my uploads, my collections, following, can to connect, portals, style guides, workspaces, and upload links. Bottom down, we can add album all or folder. This look or uh, this view of uh, workspace is just great. It's uh, clean, easy to read, and easy to navigate. So 10 out of 10 for this look. In your library, we have uh, the Kanto work, for example, tutorials or welcome to Kanto. I strongly recommend you uh, going through that so you'll teach yourself how to work in it. Then we have uh, great outdoors go, for example, for branding, we have fonts, uh, GOG lifestyle visuals, and so on and so on, the logos, great outdoors go. Then campaigns for fall, and you can see the first images already implemented in Kanto. Ah, sorry, my dog just came in. And he will leave in a minute, hopefully. So, we just have to go through uh, all the photos and we have marketing and unassigned. In unassigned, the album is empty because we haven't selected or uploaded anything yet. But that's about to change. We are going through and we are going to go to my uploads or my collections. And we can upload a new folders into the Kanto. We can easily drag and drop or uh, go to 
uh, go to my project space. When we click there, obviously it will appear a new new window. We go to my uploads and we already uploaded this one, the Lake Pierre. Here, uh, it's easy. We can name it, for example, Lake, like work. We can go into descriptions. We can write down the tags like Lake, Pierre. So by uh, when we are going to look for this specific uh, JPEG or image, we'll be able by uh, using the tags use them all and get back uh, to my uh, Lake Pierre as fast as possible. So if you can remember all the things, all the uh, tags, or you can't really you can't really find it uh, quickly, the image you are looking for, the tags will save you a lot of time. We can uh, use keywords, also campaign, company, let's go with lifestyle, status, spending, also no comments in here, details about uh, the work, it's not part of album, and so on and so on. We can uh, add an album, album name, let's go with outdoors, all the business photos and create and we have it here straight away we can go and use a uh, lake pyre once we are trying to upload it yet again approval status let's go with uh, approved quick tags let's go with uh, whatever you want to actually but we don't have to use them at all. Then keywords, lifestyle, and then you can go Lake, Pierre, Outdoors. And yeah, that's enough. Author, we can uh, add the author if we want to, or we don't have to and then just apply straight away our lake is getting uploaded and we have it here by this easy way you can upload tons of uh, tons of images tons of data so uh, you have a place to store them all. You can see all files, images in smart album, videos, smart album, audio, smart album, documents, presentations, and other uh, where they are basically like a quick nav navigation into all, all, your, uh, all your work that you uploaded on Kanto. This is very, very, very nice uh, tool to use. Also, um, they are providing a lot of pictures uh, inside of uh, this free promo. So all you have to do is maybe download them and tweak it, tweak it a bit and uh, then subscribe with uh, Kanto. So if you have uh, any questions about Kanto at all, I can uh, uh, basically I'll leave you some tips as well. We'll do for sure more videos about Kanto. And uh, if you have questions, also leave them underneath this video and I'll try uh, to get back on them. And then we'll find out the solutions uh, to your Kanto problems uh, together. So feel free to ask any questions, consider subscribing. And uh, as I said before, there's nothing you can't uh, basically do on, in Kanto. Very easy, very easy to read, and uh, it's not expensive at all if you want to go and decide to pay for the subscription. So, yet again, thanks for watching, guys. 
and i really really appreciate uh, the support you are providing thanks for uh, the watching and see you in the next one have a great day